Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, we're going to be doing another experiment. Uh, this is going to be something that I was really interested in actually trying out after I saw a comment posted on my uh, how to get the uh, watercolor theme from Windows Whistler in Windows XP video, which if you haven't seen that and if you're interested, I'll have a YouTube card at the top right of your screen right now. But uh, if you were actually posted a comment saying that and he wasn't really suggesting anything he was just saying like it would be cool if these windows xp visual styles were tested on react os and to that i said yeah it would be pretty cool so that's why that i'm making this video i thought why not you know test this out see if it works and if it doesn't work um see what can be done to make it work uh, i'm i haven't tested this at all um i'm just very curious to see if it's actually going to work so what i have here is a full install of uh, React OS. And to those of you who don't know what React OS is, I did a video on, you know, a, a more detailed video on it a few years ago, but a TLDR version of that video, basically it's a um, whole different operating system. Like it's not based on any Windows code at all, but it's built from the ground up to be binary compatible with Windows and Windows programs. So the developers of this actually have developed this totally on their own, but it looks and feels a lot like Windows because it was made to be that. So this isn't using any like Microsoft made code. They've actually done all of this themselves, which is why that it's taken a while. I mean, they started this project in like the, like, like the late nineties, I think, and they're still working on it today. So, what we're going to be doing is seeing if we can get Windows XP visual styles. I do have a folder. Let me go ahead and open up my computer here. Uh, I do have a uh, disk mount in here with some themes. So we've got a theme from Windows 3.1. Or, well, these are all Windows XP themes, but some of these, I'll leave the um, uh, uh, DeviantArt page as you know to where the, that I got these down below. It's actually all made by the same guy that modified the watercolor theme from my watercolor theme video. So all of these have been modified by him. So we've got one that is for Windows 3.1 or that gives it the Windows 3.1 look. We've got one that gives it the Longhorn error look. We have one that gives it the, uh, actually a beta version of the final Luna theme in Windows XP. We have the Plex theme as well as the watercolor theme. And we also have the uh, UX tender, so the UX theme patcher, if we have to do that. So uh, React OS by default does come with two different themes. So if we go to appearance here, we have the classic theme, which looks very similar, almost identical to the Windows classic theme. And we also have another theme called uh, Latinus or late, yeah, Latinus, you know, something, I don't know how you pronounce it, but uh, we've got this theme that gives it kind of a whole new look. So um, for some reason, the window closed or did it close? No, no, it's behind here. So we're gonna stay on the classic theme. And what I'm gonna do, is I'm just gonna go ahead and go into the, uh, let's start with the watercolor theme. So I'm gonna go into the watercolor theme, I'm gonna click on the, well, I'm gonna first see if uh, the uh, theme file here does anything. So no, it, it doesn't do anything. That's usually because we gotta go in, into the professional folder and double click on this one. So when we do that, we actually, okay, so look at this preview window right here. This is already looking like the watercolor theme. And it shows the like theme path in here. Let's, let's click apply and see what happens. And check this out, it's actually working. Wow, I did not expect this to work. Yeah, this is totally, I mean, the start menu is still in like the React OS, you know, like it's not the, like the Windows Whistler start menu. But look at this theme, all the windows have the watercolor visual style, except for these inactive windows are just like a solid, uh, like navy blue, they're not, um, with like this design over here. So yeah, I am very impressed to be totally honest. I did not think this was going to work. I thought we we're gonna have to, first of all, patch this. I mean, this isn't even patched. Like this is just like running the theme right out of the box. Like we're not even having to patch uh, the theme engine. So that is that is very awesome. So let's go ahead and you know take a look. So we've got the start button down here, the task bar, um, has the same look as Windows Whistler. It's just when we click on the start menu is when uh, it does open up the Windows classic style start menu. You know, it obviously says React OS on the side, but this is not modified. I wonder if they have the start menu. I guess they don't have, um, oh, well that window is kind of screwed up there. Yeah, they don't have like the, f like the full start menu working. 
unless there's just unless it's just disabled for some reason but uh, you see that it's grayed out here so I can't change over to the start menu so or you know to the Windows XP style start menu that has like the two column view and everything so this might be a feature that they're working on implementing they don't have it implemented yet so they only have the classic start menu but still we've got like the buttons like the whole button look and everything um, this literally looks like a Windows Whistler. I mean, I'm being totally honest. This this is the same theme from Windows Whistler. That is really cool. Again, we don't even have to patch the system or anything. Like it's just working. Uh, man, that is that is really cool. So, so we, uh, the watercolor theme works. We'll go ahead back into here. Let's try the Plex theme. Let's go in here, and okay, Plex.ms styles. This is the Plex theme from some of the early Longhorn builds. So we'll go ahead and click apply. And check this out too, this one works, it even centers the window text. Uh, the start button still has the React OS icon, but uh, yeah, that totally works. It you know, even gives it the curved edges here on the windows, and as I said, it centers the, uh, the uh, text for all the windows. So, man, that is, that is really surprising. All of the buttons here also take effect as well. We go into authors and check this out. Um, yeah, so that is that is the Plex theme. All of these are probably going to work now, but I'm just curious to see how they take effect on the system. So we're gonna go into the Luna beta folder now and try this one out and see and see what this does. So this is going to give it the. I mean, now this isn't the final Luna theme, so there are maybe gonna be some things that don't look like the regular Luna theme. But let's go ahead and just uh, apply this. And yeah, check this out. So this is looking kind of like Windows XP now. Uh, this window text up here does look a little bit different. I don't know if it just looks more bold than it does in the final release of Windows XP. Again, the start menu or, or the start button does not have the Windows flag. It has the uh, React OS icon. Again, we only have the uh, classic start menu. Um, the taskbar is not locked. Let me go ahead and just lock it. And um, yeah, that this does. I mean, actually, I remember talking about this look, uh, like this button look down here in the in the Windows Whistler development uh, history video. So this is not something that is having you know trouble with React OS. It's supposed to be this way, at least I believe. Um, yeah, so the Luna theme works. Okay, so that's that's cool. Let's go ahead and try out uh, Longhorn Arrow. I'm gonna be really curious to see how it handles Arrow. Um, as far as I know, yeah, this isn't going to be like the desktop composition engine and all that, so it's not going to be like transparency, but it is the arrow theme from one of the Longhorn builds. This one here uh, does look like the text up here is a little bit like it's off-centered, or not off-centered, but it's kind of up a little bit, so you can see that the A is somewhat cut off. Um, it's kind of having like, let's go ahead and just close this window and reopen it. Um, yeah, so you can see that the text here isn't uh, fully right. Uh, for some reason, my computer said R in it. Do you see that? Um, but, okay, so the start button, uh, once again, I mean, all these are probably not going to have, like, the regular Windows flag. They're all going to just have that icon. And the text changed down here as well. So this was that, like, I don't know, whatever font, like, uh, Tahoma or, you know, like, some default font. And now it's changed over to this. So, uh, this theme, yeah, I don't know why it says R there, but but it does. Uh, it, it does work like with hovering over these, like it like it shows red for the uh, for the X button up there, and it shows you know blue when I hover over for these two. So that is working. Uh, the buttons in this do look very Windows Vista esque, so that's very cool. Um, let's go ahead and try out the last one, Windows three point one, and see how and see what this does. Uh, yeah, it's already looking, oh, it even has like, let's go ahead and apply this, whoops. So yeah, check this out, this, this really looks like Windows 3.1, yeah, it has the, um, oh, well that's, yeah, so it's changed, I think this is the way the theme was supposed to be maybe, but it's changed these, like these icons up here, so if you, uh, have you ever used Windows 3.1 before, 
uh, this icon or this button is usually to the left side of the window and it would open up this menu here but I mean that's just the way that the, like the operating system is I mean obviously you can't just apply a theme to change where that the close button is so it has this up here this is the close button and it's got the maximize and the minimize buttons as well that have been changed to these arrows that you know look the way in or look this way in Windows 3.1 uh, same deal going on this text has been bolded down here um, you know same deal with the start menu and the start button and everything so I am really really impressed I did not think I'm gonna go ahead and put the watercolor theme back on I did not think this was going to work well I mean I thought for sure it wasn't going to work without patching the system uh, we we didn't even have to run the uh, like the UX tender program you can see that the UX tender program even opens up here and you know will allow us to patch the system but we don't even have to do that we can just apply these themes without even needing to patch it at all so I definitely have to give props to the React OS developers. They've done a lot of work with this project over the past. They've been working on this for like 20 years, I think, since 1997. So like 21 years now. Um, and yeah, that is that is really awesome. So yes, do Windows XP Visual Styles work in React OS? Yes, at least these ones here that I tested do. Um, these five different visual styles do work. So. That is going to wrap it up for this video. I want to give a thanks to the uh, commenter Dylan Taylor for suggesting, or not really suggesting, but just kind of pointing this out that like, hey, you, know, you or somebody should do this. And I'm glad that I did because now we know that Windows XP Visual Styles do indeed work on React OS. So I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe down below if you want to see more videos like this in the near future. As always, guys, I will see you in the next video.